when a ship is at sea, which she can fix her position. So, latitude and longitude are used. First, let us see what is meant by latitude. Halfway between the North Pole and the South Pole, a line can be drawn round the world. This line divides the world into two equal parts and is called the equator. This point is the center of the globe. All places which are not on the equator must be either north of it or south of it. The distance of any place from the equator can be measured as an angle at the center of the Earth. This angular distance from the equator is known as the latitude of the position. This angle remains the same no matter however large the model globe may be or however small. Latitude is measured in degrees and parts of a degree. The equator is north degrees and the highest possible latitudes are 90 degrees north and 90 degrees south. The latitude of this point is 45 degrees north. This position has a latitude of 30 degrees south. A number of places may be the same angular distance from the equator, like these. An imaginary line joining them can be drawn round the globe. This is a line of latitude, and all places on this line are the same angular distance north of the equator. In the same way, a line of latitude can be drawn south of the equator. All lines of latitude are parallel to the equator and cross the globe or map from east to west. A ship whose position was given as 20 degrees south might be anywhere on this line of latitude. Therefore, another measurement from a different direction is needed to fix its position. So, longitude is used. Any line which joins the poles and is drawn at right angles to the equator could be used. Most countries use the standard one, which passes through the Royal Observatory at Greenwich. This is called the Greenwich Meridian. Any place not on this line must be either east of it or west of it. The distance of any place from the Greenwich Meridian can be measured as an angle. This is its longitude. It is measured in degrees and parts of a degree. The Greenwich line is not degree. The greatest possible longitude is 180 degrees.
When a number of places are the same angular distance west of the Greenwich meridian, like these, an imaginary line can be drawn between the poles joining these points. This is called a line of longitude or a meridian. Any line of longitude joins all places that are the same angular distance east or west of the Greenwich meridian. All lines of longitude meet at the north and south poles and must therefore run from north to south, cutting the equator at right angles. So, when a ship's position is 20 degrees south latitude and 30 degrees west longitude, by remembering that latitude is angular distance north of the equator or south of the equator, we can see that the ship might be, for example, at any of these positions, which are all 20 degrees south and are on the same parallel of latitude. The ship could be anywhere along this line. Longitude is the angular distance east or west of the Greenwich line. So the ship could be, for example, at any of these positions, all of which are 30 degrees west. So she must be somewhere on this line of longitude. There is only one point which is both 20 degrees south and 30 degrees west, where the two lines meet.